I know. Uncle? Uncle? What your aunt boyfriend Sam did to you? We're in location with Miss Skeeter Richards, or everybody know her as Summer Angel. So Summer Angel, tell me what makes you so fabulous and so well known in the city of Philadelphia and the whole world? I guess it's more for the viewers to actually answer that because I don't know. Well, I yeah, did just put in a lot of work, you know? Right. And um, things just happen. You reap what you sow, you know? I guess that's it. Okay. You have so much behind your belt. You're a summer angel who is a DJ, a writer, an actor, editor, a movie, a Nollywood star. I guess you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, how how you find the time to do so much? Finding the time. The thing is, Erica, you have, when you actually like something, you always gonna find the time to do things you like. Exactly. Just like if you see someone you love, you make time. No matter right. how it is hard to get things done, you always find the time to do it. And I think when you're passionate and you actually love something, you're always going to find the time to actually make it happen. And um, it's not like movies and singing and all this stuff is not something that I say I want to do for like a living. If it comes and, it, and if something happened in that process, then let it happen. But I love the beauty of creating things. My so you one would say you're a creator. I like to create things, yeah. Right. And also you write how do you find yourself moving to this genre? Writing your own movies. Like most people can think of a movie, you can watch a movie or a play, but for somebody to sit there and imagine the characters, imagine <laughs> where to place um, them, it's 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 fascinating. Actually, do you know what? A sticky situation is one thing I actually said. And imagine, and I swear to God, Zim Production and I came together. Right. And it's the exact way that I vision. Episode wow. one, I would say, is the exact way that I vision. When I walked down the steps and Bobby came and said, no, you know, oh my God, <laughs> everything is just on point. And um, the beauty of everything is when you write and the actors and the actresses are doing exactly what your words say on the paper. Right. And it's just amazing to just sit and watch everyone, all the characters do their job. And they're talking the words that you write from a pen. It's one of the most beautiful things. That's why I said I like to create. Anything with creation I like to do. Like for instance, my girl, which I'm one of the star of. <laughs> right. How did you imagine my being in that character? And I fit so well in that character, Kim. I don't know how. Actually, I, I wrote it and you fall right into place with it. <laughs> you just, you fell actually right into place. I love it. And oh, sometimes this, you this. have sketchy locations. How do you maneuver um, when, you, when you do your movies? And for instance, like maybe um, My Girl was a low budget movie and living is hard. And how you find these places to go and ask people how can they borrow this space? How, how did that, how did they? Actually, some people get excited when you ask. Really? They want to date, oh, my house is in that particular <laughs> stuff. And the thing is, the, the more my audience grow, everyone would even say, the next movie, make sure my house is in it. Make sure oh, we like wow. so it's like you grow and people want to help, you know? Sometimes I have to pay for location. Sometimes location gets so busy. Um, right. various amount of times Zim and I had to relocate because of the noise and we're flimming and people, some angel, oh, some angel movie, big up. I'm like, oh my god. All right, you have to do you have to yeah. shoot or re sometimes we re shoot, relocate or just wait till the audience kinda leave. Because eventually they look and they, they have things to do, so they leave. So I mean what? I'm really fascinated by you and I'm proud of you to see one woman in Philadelphia here sit down, write her movies, write her songs, and perform them and deliver. You always and deliver though. You, you're... It is not, trust me, <laughs> it is not hard. The, the, writing and going on stage is not hard. But I don't know. My family. My family is like in the music business for so long. Right. Yeah. Arthur I mean, Whale. Arthur Whale. He's a big producer. <laughs> Being a man was raised in my home from my right. mom. I literally called him my brother. Um, Flipper Mafia. We was around Jigsy King and my dad and Tony Curtis. They all grew up in the same time. And wow. my dad actually took um, 
Jigzik, no, Tony Curtis to um, Ocho Rios. Actually, like, I really like Jigzik King, King, King yeah. and Tony Curtis. Those are really good. Really good, good yeah. yeah. Family friends. And um, the fact that you're even, you are also related to the late, great Greg Isaac. Greg Isaac. How did he come into play in your family? Greg Isaac is, um, he, his brother's married to my aunt, which wow. his brother passed, God rest his soul, and my yeah. aunt actually passed. Oh, it's no. so sad that I'm so sorry to hear that. The minute my aunt died, his brother died right behind her. It's just so crazy. But now the kids, right. my cousins, they're the ones that have the soul rights to all the songs. Greg That's Bears amazing. Like songs. So right. now one of his sons is um, singing his songs, traveling, singing night. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, he sounds just like his dad. Yeah, just like his dad. yeah. and he looked just like his uncle. Right. And, I mean, the, the, you see, see, this is what I'm saying. Like when you when you put something out positive, it lives on. Right. And what I'm doing, being a creator, is is a positive look. You're telling a story. Living this hard is about me and my son. We know where to yeah. go. We got abused. We slept in the car. And so many people inbox me, Summer, your lifeline seems just like mine. And how can I get this movie? How can I purchase this? I want to support you, you know? And, I mean, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> when I die today, God You're leaving a legacy? I'm leaving a legacy. Right. And I'm leaving my music. I'm leaving everything that I'm doing in the, in the eyes of the world to see, you know? That's, I, I don't know. I love what I do. So who have you worked with in this industry? Ooh, that, that Erica White. White. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Number one, it's my um, pleasure working with you. I've worked uh, with one of the biggest Nollywood directors. Wow. Ikechu Elieka. He oh, wow. With everybody in Nollywood you can possibly think about. Genevieve yes, Naji. Tonto Deke. Tonto Deke. Mm -hmm. The list goes on of right. people. Um, I've, and I've worked on a Nollywood set uh, at a, a soap opera. Called oh, Family, yes, Secret Family Soap. Secrets. Oh. I had to branch in, in Jersey and New York to do that. Um, that's with Maddish Production. I play a, a girl. Jeez, what was my name in that production? That one was Kim or Lisa or something. I'm not I sure. I think it was Lisa. I'm not quite hungry. It's been like four years ago. Yeah. No, that was way. That was way probably about six, seven years. <laughs> wow, time flies. Um, I've worked with, uh, Jesus, so many people. I can't even. Diamonds and Pun from Liberian Community. Daisy Dunbar, Liberian community. I've worked with um, What's Up LIB on the movie. You've worked with Genevieve too. I've worked with, uh, yeah. no, Tonta Deke. Tonta Deke. I played in a movie yes. with her called Tears of My yeah. Joy. I played her best friend. She's a beautiful girl. She's crazy though, but a and, beautiful and, and, girl. And, and Bobby Joe Valentine. Bobby Valentino. From, somewhere in Baltimore. One of my favorite, somewhere in Baltimore. favorite movie oh my God, I've done. That movie is good. I, 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 every time I watch the movie, I swear to God, I'm like, dang, I should have done that better. I hate to watch stuff that I'm in. I don't see no fault with that movie. No, no, no. I see a lot of faults in me that <laughs> oh. I could have done better. But That's like the perfectionist said, in you. That, but you yourself. grow. You, right. you do things and you, you actually grow and you learn. And right. I like to see myself so I can correct myself, you know? And um, also, Jesus, people I've worked with in movies, you're saying, right? In movies, in the music industry, in who you who you opening act for for like for music? Like, you you've been there with me. And Meek Mills when he was coming up, right? I for Meek Mills, um, everybody you can think. Beanie Man, uh, Tonto Chaka Metro Khan, Man, Ta Chaka Khan, uh, Chaka Khan. Um, uh, what's the singer R and B singer name? She's a gospel singer. Yolanda Adams. Yolanda Adams. Okay. Um, MC Light. Jesus, the list goes on of people. Um, yeah, have you ever opened up for? Lady Saw? Vice Hotel. Lady Saw. <laughs> uh -huh. That was the same night too. They were really? my cousin Flipper Mafia did a show here and I opened up for Vice Hotel and Lady Saw. That's when he first did the big song. Um Well tell us about the twenty four box shots. When I think it would you, you did it for your birthday? Twenty four box shot, I did the song and it was a success in Philadelphia. And twenty four box shot was one of my second song because Summerside Juice was the first that they got immune to. <laughs> um 24 Box Shot, it was played at um, Joe Dog um, recording station, um, radio station. Right. And when they heard that song, the entire Philadelphia or the Tri State area. Here we go. In. Everybody <laughs> wanted to know if I got to play the song again. The hmm. song kept playing about 10, 15 times. Joe Dog said, Summer. Send me an album. I that's the first them. time. Okay, before I met you, that's the first song I've heard of you on the radio. Which one? Twenty four. Twenty four box shots. Right? Somebody yeah. said, "Here we go in a me no, I'm like, "What's she talking about?" You are the doom when you see me. <laughs> I'm not a cover. Roll me over. Come here, go get <laughs> It was. It was nice. It was yeah. fun. It was like so raw, mm -hmm. and um, the fact that um, someone called you. 
uh, Philip First Lady of Dancehall. So what makes you a dancehall star instead of a Sanjay or a singer? Philly's first lady dance hall came about with a coca tea show. It was mm -hmm. coca tea and a whole bunch of artists in um in New Jersey, and it was a selector called Selector Bam Bam. They right. already crowned me at the Caribbean Festival with an award right. for that. But um, at the Camden at the the waterfront, Catman do it was called, but now mm -hmm. it's called something else. I forgot. Mm -hmm. But um, he named me Philadelphia's first lady dance hall based on the fact that I was the only person actually doing music. Traveling, I went to New York. I was in Jersey, Washington, right. Miami. I was in Delaware. Jamaica, you Delaware. have a great audience up. in Delaware. I love yeah, you in Delaware. I had a sold out audience in <laughs> Delaware at um, I Make Dance Kitty. That's where all of us was. Right. Um, and he named me that, and everyone ran with it. Everyone ran with it. But to make a long story short about the Joe Dog situation, because I have to big him up and thank him right. because he actually played my album. My album was on rotation in Philadelphia, twenty four hours. Wow. All the way was my entire album. I thought. It was like 24 songs, and all you heard was 24. A Slice of Heaven? A That's Slice of Heaven mm -hmm. is called, and I really thank him for that, because then I really got popular into the homes of Philadelphia when he did that. And you also do some duets from the album, like with Major Mackerel, Major Mackerel, I got Trey a, Songs. Trey Songs, I got a song. Gina Thompson from Bad Records. Yes. I got Shano, El Fico. Wow. Um, or Lukey D. What, what, uh, don't forget the, the gospel singer. What was his name? The gospel singer who was oh Peter Brown. Peter Brown. No, but Peter Brown and I. You no, know, one of my songs, "Living His Heart," is on his album. Oh, okay. "Living His Heart" <laughs> is not on my album. Oh, okay. It's on Peter Brown. I, I don't know why they did it that way, but right, it happens. Yeah, but um, yeah, pretty much. A whole bunch of artists I had. But what about the the um the controversy between you and Ninja Man? Because if I don't ask you this. I don't want nobody to come blame me for it. Ninja Man and you were like brothers and sisters. And what happened when, when you... No, ni no me, me, Ninja Man and I was not. <laughs> well, well, by God, yes. We we're all brothers and sisters by God. But um, So he called me up on the stage and I actually wasn't booked for the show. And I didn't know what to do. So I was like, okay, think, think, think. There's so many people looking at you. <laughs> Sing something. So I said, so you want some sour juice? Come make you a little summer sap juice. Good juice that that me produce. Me not yeah. lie, put it to use. I'm going to sit in my cell up with the mic and I'm going to look for something and I make it come, you know, come right. back. Yeah, that's a, a come clash on. artist. That's, that's a weird. I don't clash. I just do my music and I sing and deliver. That's it. So he come out and I watch me and I say, hmm, I wish you had try to sing it. And now I get it. Maybe because he doesn't know what the song represents. Right. He's not saying, you want some juice to drink the kitty. Yeah, but he's needs a man again, so he's going to make but something you, you out of it. You know, when it. you're illiterate and ignorant, you just jump. You know, and a lot of Jamaican people, honest to God, they're very ignorant. Um, and he said, well, yeah, I'm going to steal the top of so much stuff, just look at the nastiness. And I'm like, no. And then you're trying to correct then he yourself. Grabbed the mic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he grabbed the mic away from me, and I'm like, wow, this guy, he's on some, some Philip people was upset. <laughs> the man, them back, they said, oh, yeah, I can't have this weird, just so. But it happens. Right. And, and the thing is, it's a show. It makes it better for you. But when Ninja Man got off the stage, mm -hmm. he said, some of you know, say, I'm I, I shorting. We just have to do show. And that's how we get our buzz, making a big scene or whatever. But, and I said, okay. Right. You, he already had his buzz. You already have your buzz. So you just wanted to be more controversial. Right. His buzz was like a buzz. Buzz. <laughs> Yeah. But you wanted you to buzz more. Yeah. But um, to be honest with you, I think you're doing wonderful. And I... um. I'm very proud of you. Your music has touched the whole world. People in Japan, how about when, when they wanted to take you to Japan? Can you? Can you can yeah, that was a while back, Jesus. That was in my right. 20s then. I remember. And I was supposed to go on a tour with um, Hollywood Anderson. And I hate, I hate the fact that it never happened. Zim production, you remember? <laughs> yes, oh my god. Zim was booked for the show too. We all right. booked, took off from work, everything. Got a couple tattoos, which I regret. And it never happened. Oh. Whatever, what, ha what happened? Because I remember saying scared. that you were to go. Wow. Even and so you scared. were trying to see what you're going to do with the twins when they were smaller. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we're still, we're here. Uh, you, when one road is turned, that don't mean you're not going to still go on your path, right? You're right. still going on a steady, firm path. And, and now, we want to talk about something more reverent. Sticky situation, and I'm um, I'm hearing buzz that it's gonna be a premiere soon. Can you ad lib on that? Sticky situation, yeah. Mm. <laughs> we um, Jesus, it's so sad. We were gonna do a premiere at the Upper Derby right. Movie Grill, and 
we held on to it because we saw the COVID coming and we're like, geez, this is getting kind of tight. But it was the movie theater. Right. We're like, we're going to still have the show regardless of COVID because it didn't hit yet. In March, early March, and, you know, February, it wasn't that bad. Right. But um, a couple of the cast kept calling me saying, Summer, you got to cancel the show because COVID, this and that. I said, I can't cancel it because I don't right. want to lose my money. I paid enough. I did promotion. I'm ready. Right. If so they was your audience. It, everyone was ready. Everybody was mm -hmm. ready. And the actors. <laughs> the, the township, I said, until the township cancel the show, I'm not doing a damn thing about it. Right. Who comes, comes. Who doesn't make it, right. they'll see it online. The township canceled the show at the beginning <laughs> of the show. And I said, you know what? What a relief. Because I was kind of nervous. A lot of my friends buy T-shirts and send their money saying, I can't make it because COVID, I'm scared. Right. But they did put their two cents in. Anyway, so we canceled the show. And we've been waiting pretty much too long. Yeah, it's like almost five Am months. Correct? Yeah, we've been waiting for for months to put this out, and I want the, It's not for to do a premieres per se, but it's for the people that's in the pro, pro project to see themselves on a big screen. Like me, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's a disappointment because I'm highly disappointed because I wanted to show them how good they did from all the work and hours they put in. Right. It was not even for me to do it at the theater. It was for them to see the star oh, they are because so everyone has that in them. So now we, um, I just recently said, I'm just going to give up. I'm going to take my money back from the theater right. and take it into someone else's venue. venue. Uh -huh. So I called my, uh, my, my, my guy, and he has many buildings. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what? I have a building that you might love. It was a church. Right now the lady is doing events there. Give her a call. Mm -hmm. I called her Inez from Chester, and she actually said she'll work with me. I went and looked at the spot. Oh, wow. It's a Wonderful. huge place. Situation like Chum said, it's huge. When so can you expect this? I don't mean to cut you off. I'm gonna do it on the 29th of this month. Of this month, it's you hear Sunday. that, people? Stick a situation premiere on the 29th of November and at 5 p.m. sharp. It's gonna be a red carpet event, and you wear your mask, and we're gonna have food and beverages, and we're gonna try to make the seats as far away as North Korea and China as That's possible. Right. <laughs> yes, people, everybody's afraid of COVID 19. It is going to be the six feet distant. Um, what I'm saying is the people that comes out, they stay in their group. Right. And we're going to check temperatures at the door. And um, if you have a fever or if you don't feel good, I will say, please stay Can home. Can I come in? Um, we're trying to have fun. I've seen people go out to parties and clubs. So I see the world Tell them is not, not to open. be a hypocrite, really. Exactly. So don't be an hypocrite because I've had close people like real people that's in the movie that's playing lead roles that call me saying summer you know that's what that's horrible you know i'm not gonna show up i mean i've seen pictures of you out doing your thing oh why not come out and support something you've been in right you know and sticky situation did a, a very good job online it did a beautiful job you got millions of millions views. of views huge views right <laughs> <laughs> um and and it did a fabulous job the storyline is so touching it's exactly. so it's real i feel it like right. it and I would advise people to come out and see it because, honest to God, this is more... Part, number one was the robbery, when Angel got robbed and this, that, that. Number two was the apology, when I've been right. someone had to apologize for what they did to me. And number three is called What Goes Around Comes, comes Around. around obviously. And you got to put your mind together. If you saw part one and two, you should know what goes around comes around is. This is going to be a magnificent More movie. like the revenge, it's, but we're not going to say in some of Yeah, we're not, we're not we're in not Hollywood. Giving the That's we're not right. in Hollywood, but we try to make everything the best put together as we can. You know what I mean? And uh, we got Don Don. We yes. got um, Outlaw. Wanda. We got uh, Zan Cartel, the big, the big star <laughs> in Philly. Um, we got uh, Erica White. We yes, got uh, Wet you. Kitty. Um, we got uh, the list goes Vandella, on. We, we have, got Vendela um, Barna. Um, Daisy Dunbar. Um, Don't forget Highway. Uh, Jesus, there's so many people. Twin White. Don't forget Bobby now. No, Bobby, 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 Bobby <laughs> V. You don't even. Once you say sticky situation, Bobby V name is all over. <laughs> Bobby name is all over sticky situation. But um, and I work with the wonderful, wonderful camera. Please. Zim production. Zim production Zim to e. the world. Zim production. I mean, in the beginning, we argue, we fight, oh. we argue, we fight. Your brothers and sisters. You would think we're do like. <laughs> Are they married or what is going on? Did they break up and they get back together? What is it? But Zim and I, we're like brothers and sisters, and I love working. I would never give Zim up for nothing. 
He does a family he won't give you up either. Yeah, I've heard whispers. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you come to start conversing. Yeah, but um, but what can you leave now? Like, what kind of um, what what can you leave for the younger people? Like, how the positive input you can leave with younger artists or a younger singer trying to come out or, or, or an actor, an art, an, an artist. What can you leave as advice for them? As advice, the advice I would like for myself, <laughs> I would have to say I'll give it to someone. Please be careful when you sign a contract. You can give your life away because mm. that's exactly what happened to me with music. Right. I signed to Wildfire Records and they did, they tried, but he didn't have, I don't think he had the power to put me in the direction where I needed to be. Right. But they tried and I give them credit. I cannot right. talk bad about them, but you can't sign a contract for management, soul management, and you can't sign copyright. a recording co contract, copyright. It's like I wanted music so bad that I just signed my life away. And up until now I'm fighting. And that's the reason why a lot of people probably haven't seen more on the music side. Right. So I started to write, and when I started to write, I say I'm gonna put the music aside, and I'm right. gonna write, cause writing can tell you so much. You'll understand but me. I just have to. I don't mean to cut you. How can you? This is where I come in. How can you, um, go to Nollywood and win three Nollywood award and have the Africans then buzzing, wondering who is this lady? Come and take in my <laughs> truck. How can you? It's not. It's not hard to say. How can you? I mean, <laughs> how how could it happen? You work with good people, and you work with people that have the passion. And with the passion, they'll push themselves and they'll push the project. I've worked with Smooth Fusion Flames from uh, somewhere in Baltimore. They did a fabulous job. But not that you, Summer Angel, you went over to an African audience and take over. It was very over easy. Look at me. To the word, meow, it is her. Yeah, I was actually an African love child. Like, Liberian Star View promoted me well. The right. African community, when I first got online. Well, what's not to love? They communed me. They, 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 they promoted me very well. And I appreciate the Africans. Especially my good friend that uh, he's incarcerated now because he was on the news. His son died from e taking a pill or something. Oh my God, that's um, Africano TV. I couldn't believe when I saw Africano it. I saw it on TV. Facebook. I hate when I get my news yeah. from He's people that I man. know. I know him he made too. Mistake, yeah. And it was hurtful. It was hurtful. Yeah, Africano TV. Yeah, we used to go there a lot in Woodland Avenue. No, he, he was based in New Jersey, but New he was Jersey, always but, here. Okay. Yeah, but he kind of put me on the side of the Africans and he actually gave me my first award, my first actress award. And he well deserved? Yeah. And um, oh, then I went to um, Nollywood, NAFCA Awards. That's like the Hollywood Oscars. Uh, we was in Washington. We kicked yes. ass. And we got something <laughs> that. And I, just the list goes on. I keep. I went back to New York, got something there. I collect everything. I picked up everything. And the thing is, I more accomplished more because I actually am a self-made person. I, I no can one see actually that. give me anything. Cause when it's amazing. When I went to to do Living Is Hard the movie, they wanted. I went to um. A buddy of mine is, uh, that owned um, the, the movie Imported Bride. Oh, yeah. Said, that was it, a, yeah. Wow. And they said they wanted probably seven or 8000 to do Living is Hard. And I said, damn, I just got laid off from my job. I was working right. at Bryn Mawr in the dietary department because I got my culinary arts degree. But then well, I got laid off. With it? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, I, <laughs> so I, um, I went and I actually um, got my own cameras. Right. I got my cast, I did my thing, I shot it, edited it, because I said, ain't nobody going to tell me they can not do anything you can do, I can do it. And I'm going to do it a hundred times better than you, because I'm going to try to push myself and critique myself and be the best person I can be. And I did Living is Hard. It got picked up by MoneyGram. Living is Hard was <laughs> a, a splendid movie, because oh, I yeah. printed it. I want my rent. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't be here today. So just can't. I can't. Listen, let me look at what I'm going to take care of. Let me just go in, please. Let yes, you have him to take care of, but me come to collect my rent. That is one of the things where you need to take care of. You, there's a roof over your head, and you live under that yeah. roof. You're supposed so to be here. The rain. Look from when the, the bathroom, and you can have something there. And me call you for fix it. Look from when we not even have light in the back room. But tell me something. Look how oh, you pretty and fancy of new falls here, jacket, coat. Then oh, you know, could that. I use piece of that the money by it stop leak for the bathroom around there? I hear. In life, and who no make life so hard? I tell you, come back the 15th. Come the 15th, you get to rent. I 
I think you got robbed once or twice. Was it two times? Two times, right? Tell us about actually three times. Three times. Yeah. Wow. They um they broke into my house, my home when I was in home, and they took all my movie cameras. Oh wow. And they dig through my ceilings and my bedroom, everything. They took everything they could take, computers and cameras and games and jewelry. They took it all. I had bought this nice huge camera from the movie, uh, like a movie company. I and remember they, that camera. They took that, that too. They took wow. that camera, all my editing pro tools, and and I thought it was over. And they came back the second week. It was like wow. they come on Tuesdays when how, I'm home. How, how does that make you feel though, when somebody comes to your home and actually takes something? Is it does it um does do you feel afraid to go in? At night, or do you stay feeling, there, or you it, go somewhere after a while, they come back home? I think the feeling I felt was more invaded. Of course. Invasion. Right. Yeah, it is like, an invasion. Yeah, so they came in my home, and I was just like, I didn't want to be there anymore. Oh. You know, like you're home, and you don't know when somebody's going to come. Are they coming back? Were they waiting to see me home? You don't know. You right. Know? So it's more invade, 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 invaded. And um, I mean, I got and, through I, it. and you people are not know you're a very private person. Very private. Very, very yeah. private. Because a lot of people talk <laughs> things that they don't know until they right. actually know me. So if you want to know me, just ask me. I'm right. an open book, but I'm also very private. She's very, <laughs> very private. Um, so it happens to you three times, and as as as, as any robbery happened recently? Recently, yes. Um, wow. The, the robber climbed up my patio while my daughter was in her room Jeez. and stole my son's Game Boy. Pretty much, it. I mean. That's the only thing they took, but she was home. That and was really triggered me. Now I have to surveillance everything. And this was years before. Yeah, yeah. And now after, my, sorry. My little girl was home now, and it just kills me because she was by herself, and it it really it, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Because now we are in the house. We gotta lock the house down. We right. go outside. We gotta lock it down. We can't open the doors. And you're dealing with COVID nineteen. And you're right. in lockdown. You have to be double lockdown. Right. People, stop it. Whoever is doing it, you're out there. And if you see but this it's video. All right. It's all right. We got, we all right. <laughs> the place is cam cameras everywhere. We got them on camera anyway. But the, the right. cops are trying to figure out who did it. The person never got arrested yet. So that's why it's kind of hard because of the prints. Right. They, they were pretty young. But uh, by God, be the grace, we're good. We're good. We're not suffering. Whatever they take. I hope they find... Um, Loving the stuff they take because for <laughs> oh you to God. climb through someone, but it's doors still not in. theirs, you know. Yeah. It's not right. Right. It's the face, like you said. It's not the fact that they took something from your home. It's like they took a part of you. But it's like, sad because people know if you ask me for something, even if you're on the street, I will give it to you. Right. That's just how, how I am. If you knock my door, some you know I need a Game Boy. It's yours because my right. son don't even use it, but it's new. Right. They have the things that they don't even use. It's X, and I give it. to I you. can only you imagine. Feel. I can only imagine the feeling. You know me better. Right. And you're very strong. You yeah. know, I've never seen you cry a tear unless you, when you're going to cry at night by yourself. You, I want to go home and cry. I just want to go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know her because I'm her friend. I'm giving it away. <laughs> so, right. how many movies are you in? How can many you, movies Can I'm... you recall in one breath? The ones that's out. <laughs> I would name all the movies I'm, I'm in. Then I'll probably say I'm... About seven or eight or nine of them is out. Wow. All right, let me go down the list of movies, okay, if I can remember. All Why right. aren't you on Netflix, though? Have you ever considered Netflix? I've considered Netflix. Netflix is, if people think it's so easy. You send your movie into Netflix, it's not that easy. Wow. Netflix is not that easy. You need connection. And uh, we got some type of connection now with Netflix. Wow. Uh, Bobby Valentino was like, nice. was there, but we got to talk. We still got to do paperwork. Right. Um. All right, starting from the ground up. Living is Hard, number one. My Girl, My number girl. two. Those movies, mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about Fleming, so when you watch it, please forgive me. Um, Stop Living is Hard, My Girl. Yourself. No, you well I'm just what saying. You had. It, no, it, it's, good. it's a good storyline. One camera. All right. But listen, <laughs> Living is Hard got millions of views. Hello. My Girl got millions. No, nope, I'm lying. 400,000 views, actually. And I deleted it. I just re-uploaded one because of right. copyrights. All right. Living is Hard, My Girl. Um, somewhere, somewhere in Baltimore, ignorance, which I think people should go out and watch. No, I'm also in ignorance. You're in ignorance, right? You yeah. play the principal. Yeah, um, administrator. Administrator, I'm sorry. No, that's okay because it's college. You know, you don't. <laughs> anyway, it's not about me. 
All right, so um, <laughs> ignorance. Um, we got somewhere about um, in God I trust. Um, the one with the blessed the curse. curse. The blessed curse. Te Tears of my joy. Yes. Um, that was a good movie too. Jesus, come on. Um, she devil. Uh, it's so much. Family. Family secret soap. It's a lot. It's a, okay, okay. Let's not tire your brain. Yeah, I can't remember. She I'm getting too old right now. Right. <laughs> I think I have dementia. <laughs> no, no, you're not even close to that. Yeah. But um, as far as the music is concerned, the audience waits for you. They ask about you. I know one day you're going to go back to it. It's, I, you can't I help it. That's your first love. Actually, I, I just promised Fico we're going to do the video for... Um, Ooh! Um, and Fico and Summer Angel. Yeah, my mom Fico is Mama. dying. She's dying for us to do I'm this. I'm dying too. We're going to do the video for that. The Zim Production is going to be the one doing it. You know, All right, Zim Production, his hands is on John the from Zim Production, please have your protein ready for Summer Angel. Yeah. Is there any movies that you have already written and you never um, bother to produce them or even start the production um, yet? Actually, I'm writing now. I've, I've got a couple of movies that I have that I look it over and I'm like, oh, I got a good idea, but then I'm like, no. I wrote a couple of stuff. And um, actually, I'm writing something now that I want to do at the Poconos. I called them the other day and told them, so I'm actually writing a movie now. Something dramatic and mm, something summer angel. Something, <laughs> no, something out of the norm of what we should. Really? So it's, it's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be fun. But I must say this before we go. I don't think you realize exactly who you are. You're a legend. Mm -hmm. Somebody don't wait until somebody die to give them flowers. I'm gonna tell you right here on camera as a friend that you are a legend. For what you have done, your music, your acting. Your writing, your editing, everything. I've seen you not staying up for three days, not sleeping, just to make sure something is edited right. And um, the fact that you have so much passion and love in you, right. you're a very loving person. Most people don't know that about you. No, you're high maintenance. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so you need that. That's your outlet. Your that's your ultra ego. She just I maintenance kitty, and why not? <laughs> right. <Fear. laughs> so please, people, go out there and support Summer Angel. Summer Angel, would you like to leave us with anything before we go, or remind them about the secure situation, something that they can remember? You um, by? what I would say is, whatever in life that you want to do, I think you should just push yourself and always push yourself, regardless of what people think of you or how people look at you or how, or how you even look at yourself. Right. You got to keep pushing yourself. Because mm. you see people with no legs running in the marathon. Yes. You know what I mean? You see people with no eyes or reading. They believe that they can do something. And once you believe in yourself, all things are possible. And that's all I can say. Just believe. And, I, and I, we were close from here. This is Erica White from Overall Settings. And our guest today is Summer Angel. And people was. go out. Was Summer Angel. People go out there. And whatever copy of her music you can find, buy them, or movies, or just promote them. Like and share on our YouTube channel. It's called Summer Angel, Jamaican. right? J Summer Angel Jamaican. And um, also, please be there at the premiere. I don't want to hear people about COVID nineteen because y'all ain't y'all ain't being careful. Peace, Erica White from Overall Settings. Have no fear. Summer Angel's here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey Flipper, Arthur Wheel, be the man, lead the star, when you come here, home to some Philadelphia dirty, hey, they're not going to be cross and miserable, you know. Me yow, yow, how are they meet me for? Me ask them a question, you know. I tell me I have money in my pocket and me a big hustler. Who am today? I'm a two of the bands of a pretty pretty them.